Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol CCIV Lucid Model. As a matter of fact, uh, CCIV is the ticket symbol of Church Hill Capital that is merging with Lucid to take them public. So that's what I want us to talk about today. There have been some development, and I want to bring that um, to you guys. But before we get started, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So, guys, you, you I mean, I'm bullish on Lucid models that is not even anything that i'm hiding here on the channel i've told you guys about it i think the company has the potential to um, really compete with any other ev manufacturer out there notably um tesla again that is the elephant in the room so far uh, tesla has set a standard and every ev is looking to at least it just match that or surpass that so and i think lucid has that potential uh, but Again, there's some some things that I've actually seen that I, I think is really pointing to that direction. So uh, most recently, the CEO of Lucid was actually on CNBC and um, had a great conversation with uh, Jim Cramer. And so uh, two things that I got out of that, the first one was that Lucid is the next Tesla. To me, I think this is a slap um, in the face for Lucid because uh, I don't see Lucy competing with Tesla. What I see Lucy is like Toyota and uh, Lexus. That's made from by the same company. One brand is just average. The other one is luxury. So Lucy is positioning himself as the luxury brand of Tesla. So that's why I, when I hear uh, Kramer saying the next Tesla, uh, to me, that doesn't sit well. Again, then um, the other thing that came up in, in the conversation was uh, the fact that Kramer asked uh, the CEO about Apple Car, as you can see here, and he says, um, I welcome the competition, which to me, that's bold. But as a CEO, I, I hope that he's not going to go out and say, oh, no, that's bad for us because, uh, you know, investors are going to panic and start selling if he said something like that. So to me, um, I, I did kind of like seeing that. Again, Kramer is on board with um, Lucid Motors and thinks that that's the direction. Um, I think he's so uh, you know full of it because uh, one of the time that he interviewed, um, I think the CEO of um, Arriver, he said the same thing that Arriver was the baby Tesla, and now he says um, you know Lucid is the next Tesla. So I'm not really sure where he stands with that, but. Um, I think he is really getting on board now with um, EV uh, as compared to uh, in the past where he wasn't even, uh, you know, taking Tesla serious. I mean, I'll give him a pass on that. So those are uh, some of the things. And then uh, if we go back here, most recently, it's also the CEO of Lucid actually took the Lucid out for a test drive without any uh, camouflage. Uh, usually when they test drive the cars, they camouflage the car so it looks like something else. But this time around, he actually took it out. Um, the car itself uh, drove it and actually stopped and, and, and talked to people um, on the street. So one thing that um, actually stood out to me is the fact that after the test drive, he gave a review of the car, gave some positive things that he saw about the car, most uh, especially was the suspension. He gave the team, uh, you know, some shout out of how good the suspension held when he drove. Um, and, and then also pointed out some flaws, which to me, that's a, a sign of a good uh, leadership. You're not just pushing just the good, but you're still telling that, hey, there's, there's some flaws here that we need to fix. And we're going to update our software to try to address this before we start production uh, in the fall. So I really like seeing that. So if we, if we look here, more news, uh, Kramer says Lucid Motors could be the next Tesla, which um, I do agree uh, in, in some shape or form, but also disagree. This is not the next Tesla. This is beyond Tesla. This is a luxury brand uh, that I see. Again, that is my personal take, so you can disagree with me. Um, I, I won't have any issues with that. So um, it, on that note, I'm still bullish on, on Lucid, um, I, and I continue to buy the dip as I see it. Uh, because when this thing, when the market stabilizes and this thing starts to squeeze, boy, 
uh, I, I anticipate that this is going to run to the moon. And when they go through the process and complete the merger, this stock is easy over a hundred dollar stock because I've seen other companies that don't even have what Lucy has right now, as far as showing uh, their prototype, driving their prototype on the street and showing it like, hey, this is a working car and then building their factories and also getting ready for production. The companies are getting valued at some ridiculous amount um, just to see these guys in that position. I'm super excited. So I'm going to keep buying the deep, just buying the deep as, as I see it. So if we look at um, Treasury Capital right now, the stock is sitting somewhere at about $28.72. And, and um, they kind of saw yesterday made a move. I think they made a move up to, let's say, the five-day here. So they, they, they got to about $32.95. Again, to me, each of these pullbacks here is uh, an opportunity for, for us to jump into the stock uh, and continue to load up uh, and build a, a solid position. So that that's my that's my, my, my game plan here. Um, again, I'm bullish on this stock. I think this is, um, as far as EVs in the United States, uh, Lucid is uh, on top of it, and they are going to really, really excel. Um, and they have also uh, some sort of investors from uh, Saudi Arabia, and you know what that does. That oil money, you cannot mess with it. And so this is, again, something that's going to push um, the stock um, to higher grounds. If you can see here, again, they're talking about their factory uh, being completed. They have all these studios that are opening across the country to showcase the vehicles and have people really sit in them and get a feel of the of the vehicle. So um, the, the company is not doing a, a lot of uh, spending a lot of money on marketing because um, I think what they want to do is let the product do the marketing for them. And so when you start seeing uh, celebrities and all these people driving this vehicle across town, um, and wherever you live, you're going to see more and more people excited and want to get uh, on board with the company. So that is my take. Again, guys, I'm bullish on this. I'm adding more. Um, hopefully, I can get to at least 5,000 shares before uh, the market starts to really go back up. That would make my day. Let me know in the comment section what you're thinking. Um, do you did, did you invest in the stock? Are you buying more or what's your game plan? Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content, guys. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.